Haley Outen joined by UConn head coach Gino Oriema. Coach, your team without one of your senior leaders this week and Katie Luce Samuelson, but for your other senior, Nafisa Collier, to come out the way that she did in the first half and then mm -hmm. finish this game out with 37 points, how much leadership did she exhibit today in your first game in the postseason? Well, <clears throat> um, there's really not much that you can say other than, you know, is just one of those special players that um, she's not affected by how much you ask her to do. You know, it's like the more you ask her to do, the more she'll do. Um, I, when I saw the stat sheet at halftime, I mean, I knew she was carrying us, but when I saw the 29 points and whatever she was doing and 10 rebounds, I was like, wow. You know, and in the locker room, we said, somebody's got to help her out. But she was a one one person team out there and um, I'm never surprised really I'm never surprised by um, by how hard FISA works she deserves everything she gets Olivia Nelson Adota getting the start for Katie Lou 17 mm -hmm. rebounds how encouraging is it to see one of your youngest faces step up yeah uh, you know our two freshmen you know they're being put in a tough situation which is good for them uh, they're going to get a lot of experience this weekend. Hopefully, we get two more games. Um, you know, uh, Olivia's the biggest kid out on the floor, and um, I thought she was aggressive today. She um, she asserted herself, you know, and I think when her offense comes around, she's going to be uh, she's going to be really, really difficult to play against. But uh, if we can get a couple more uh, a couple more games just like this one from from her, that's going to go a long way. As your team continues to learn to adjust without Katie Lou in the lineup this week, what did you like about how your team adjusted in the second half? Yeah, we, we sort of found our rhythm on offense. I thought in the first half we were a little bit um, scatterbrained. You know, we really weren't sure. Um, so we, we pretty much did the exact same thing every time down the floor in the second half, and it kind of made things easy for them. There's very little thought involved, you know, and – um, we found, as I said, we found a groove that we could play at, a tempo that we could play at. Everybody got involved, you know, so it wasn't just FISA, FISA all the time. Um, so hopefully that can carry over, you know, that kind of, you know, spread it around kind of, uh, kind of offense. Moving on to play USF in the semifinal, a team that has gone through quite a bit of adversity this year, played them to a very close game in Tampa, just mm -hmm. a 10-point game on Monday. What do you anticipate in this matchup tomorrow against a team that you are very familiar with facing here in the conference tournament? Yeah, we have certainly uh, have played them every year in the tournament. Um, I kind of knew uh, that we'd have to see them again. Um, unfortunately, it's not uh, Monday night like it normally is, but... Um, I think Jose's done an unbelievable job. I, I think he he did the best job of anybody this year, given the circumstances that he he was uh, confronted with. And he's he's managed to to get his offense and his defense to the point where everybody really knows their role. So he's plugged in a lot of young players himself, and um, and they all know exactly where they're going. You know, they know who's going to get the shots. You know, their big kids are doing a fabulous job rebounding the ball and screening, playing good defense. Um, and they make it difficult for you to get anything in the lane. So you got to make jump shots against them. And um, tomorrow, that's, that's going to be the biggest challenge. You know, can we make enough outside shots to take some pressure off of Feast? Thanks, Coach. Thank you very much. I'm now joined by UConn forward Nafisa Collier. Nafisa, knowing that you guys were coming into this tournament, missing Katie Lou, 29 points, 10 rebounds for you in the first half. How much did that impact the way that you came out and personally performed today? Uh, a lot because Lou is such a force for us and she's obviously, you know, one of our best players. So we knew that we were going to have to step up today. And I thought we did a really good job in the second half and we struggled a little bit in the first, but um, just knew that we had to come out with a different mindset. Moving on to the semifinals, a game that people here at Mohegan are used to seeing in the final, USF versus UConn. You just went down to Tampa on Monday for a close game. What lessons can you take away from that and apply tomorrow? Um, pretty much the same from this game is we have to come out in the first half and hit them first. Um, we, again, struggled a little bit in the first half against them, so we have to know that every team's going to want they're out to beat us, and we have to come out with the same aggressiveness and, if not match it, beat it. So that's what we're going to focus on tomorrow. For you as a senior playing in your final conference tournament and final postseason at UConn, how does it feel differently coming out this week? 
Uh, it's weird. It goes by really fast. Everyone says that, but it really does. And I just want to give it my all. I want to, you know, play as well as I can, have my team play as well as they can, and come out, obviously, with a win this weekend. Thank you. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you.